How do you do, my boys and girls and friends? Fear not, fear not. We have some music, not intended to scare you, and some more will emerge from this place in a few moments. Greetings to you, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, people. I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller, and we are going to make some music with singing pipes. And my assistant here performs, assists, and speaketh not. Consider the following. Two identical pipes, identical in length, which we excite by blowing some air. Blow, my good man. They are identical. We wish now to inquire what governs the pitch of a pipe. Many things govern the pitch of a pipe, among them its length. So let me change the length of one pipe with a sliding sleeve. This will change its natural frequency. The two pipes then will be out of phase, out of resonance, and we will hear that classical phenomenon we witnessed some time ago with two identical C forks, one of which I changed by loading. So we sound them both. We sound them both. So we introduced a new frequency by changing the length, which trombone players do and, and musical instrumenters do, violinists do with their fingers, and so. Now, what else governs the pitch of a pipe? The uh, density of the medium which blows it, say the density of the air, the nature of the air inside. Proof. I'm going to excite them again, and they are identical, and I'm going to heat one. This will change the density of the air in the pipe, and it will have a new pitch. Thank you, Mr. Assistant, who speaketh not, but worketh much. So we see, do we not? We see the usefulness of physics in understanding music. <laughs> 